obviously not our best day, but as I said, the opponent has a lot to do with that. We have basically we imploded an offense, defense, and special teams. Not more I can say. I can't figure it out. Um, it looked like we were sleepwalking early, but uh, um, you know, we just uh, couldn't convert a third down, couldn't handle the pressure. We had more sacks, I think, in the first quarter than we had next month or two. And again, you know, credit to, uh, credit to your opponent. Um, so, uh, certainly disappointing, we know that. But as I told our young men uh, Monday, there's 120 plus FCS teams, uh, 125 have a number right playing football, and only 24 were still playing this week with an opportunity to, to keep going. So we had that opportunity, we're certainly proud of that. I'm extremely proud of our young men. I know a lot of people have a lot to say about our season and whatever, <coughs> but that noise doesn't concern us at all. Um, we're proud of the fact that uh, our seniors uh, restored order and championship uh, to our program. Uh, as I just spoke to them, and as, uh, as a whole team and individuals, we love each and every one of them. Uh, they, they, they restored order back to this program and, and set up an example for our young players uh, to what is to be expected in the future. Uh, so certainly got a lot of disappointment in that locker room, but uh, you, have a, you have a chance and that's all you can, that's all you can ask for. So uh, not embarrassed, uh, certainly hey, we, in football, in any given week, in any given level, pro, college, whatever, sometimes uh, you get your butt kicked and it's not much more you can say than that. And that's what happened today by a very good football team. And uh, we're still proud to hold the Patriot League trophy. And uh, this, this, these young men will uh, achieve their goal of winning a league championship and uh, get rings out of that. Oh, they were just aggressive. They uh, were incredibly physical playing up front. And, uh, you know, we've been training all week to match their, match their physicality um, and to anticipate and to play effectively against what they brought schematically um, from their defense. Uh, but we got out there today, and um, I'm, I'm not sure exactly what happened. There was some must have been some miscommunication or some slight physical breakdowns, but you know, all it ever takes on any given play is one man not doing his job, and um, that's that's all it takes. So you know, the you know the other ten guys can be doing exactly what they need to do, but if the one guy uh, breaks down and the play does not go forward, and that's what happens. That's um, you know, that's the the theme of a, of a successful offense, and uh, <clears throat> we were able to put together a successful drive at the end. Um, but up until that point, there were small breakdowns, and uh, it's something that is correctable. And uh, I know our coaches will be watching this film intently. They probably, you know, probably already are knowing them. Um, but uh, they'll get it fixed. They'll get it right. Coach, when, 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 that, when that thing starts rolling, that ball starts rolling, um, what are you trying to pull out all kinds of stops? What are you trying to do to make, you know, to change that? Well, the first thing that happened is everybody's yelling and screaming at one another on the sideline, and, and you got to calm them down. Uh, you can ask Brad, you, you might think there was something tirade at halftime or anything, or just the opposite. Uh, that that wasn't going to help solve anything. We had to settle down, and, and uh, I, I, I just challenged them on very plain and simple their pride to go out and play <coughs> football and play the next play in the second half. We were certainly. Uh, you know, I man at some spots, and that was very clear from the very first series. We just uh, did not have anything to do with scheme, just getting you know, just getting run over by by individuals. Um, you know, so, and the same thing defensively. So, it, like I said, it was a uh, uh, complete uh, you know, breakdown in, in all three phases. And when that happens, you, know, you get beat, and you get handled, and, and you get your butt kicked. And there isn't much you can say. So. Um, you know, we certainly tried to make some adjustments. Uh, you know, we talked to Drew about getting the ball. The, the pocket was collapsing on him um, very quickly. He took some pretty good hits out there. Then he started to, you know, in the first time being a freshman, everybody, you know, again, he's had a great season since he's come in, but he got a little rattled, and he started making some uh, errors in the choice ball and had some things. We had Mark open, and we overthrew him early, and we underthrew him late for a touchdown both times. Um, not that you know, you're going to come out on top, but those things are something to get some momentum. And we just uh, obviously couldn't get uh, couldn't get anything going. But again, that had more to do with you know, they were much better than us today. Thank you.
I've been thinking about this, uh, you know, <clears throat> I think the goal is um, to leave a legacy. You know, any class that comes in, they want to be remembered as a successful class that moved the program forward. And um, I think, you know, in terms of our goal of winning the Patriot League Championship, we did that. In two counts, we made history in being the first Lafayette team to knock off a top five team, which we did this regular season, and, you know, to win the Patriot League. So on those two counts, there was the third count, which was winning the first playoff game in history of the team. Um, that clearly alluded us today, but I think that speaks to what this team can do in the future. <clears throat> um, we, you know, in, there's a lot that we say, and there's, we're very clear about and deliberate about our expectations. You know, during the entire offseason, we always talk about what we want to do, and our ultimate goal is winning the Patriot League, and um, that's what we emphasized this past year, and we did that. We came out and we did that. We won the Patriot League this year. So now I think that, um, you know, we can extend our goal, you know, the goals to include that Patriot League, but, you know, now we know we can compete in the playoffs. You know, we got to this point. This year got away from us, but we know we have the ability to come back and do it again next year. So when we are establishing our goals and uh, moving forward through the offseason, I'm not going to be part of that, but I know this is what our team's going to do moving forward. They got to, um, you know, win the Patriot League and on the next breath, go deep in the playoffs, win it all. And I think that's the expectation. We know we are that caliber of team, um, and that's what they have to train for this year. So that's the expectation. I think we put our team on a different trajectory as seniors. They know they're a championship level team within the Patriot League. Now they have to ex extend beyond that to the national stage and find success in the playoffs. That's their goal. Coach, when you have one class of scholarship athletes, you played a full scholarship team today. Is this kind of, does this become, is this the benchmark for for the Patriot League teams now, the CAA is a benchmark. Well, I think, you know, and I've, I've said all along, and uh, you know, I have a lot of friends coaching the CAA, I'm very familiar with it. And again, the CAA arguably has, has been consistently the best FCS conference in the country. So certainly uh, when you want to set any kind of benchmark, you, you know, want to you know, get to that point. Um, you know, scholarships or not, we're, you know, interested in, in strong student athletes, you know what the Patriot League's about. We lead the country in graduation rate. We're fourth in the country at Lafayette graduation rates. There are a lot of things that go along with that. The scholarship certainly you can see already has made an impact in the league of the number of freshmen that played, not just for us, but you know, across the conference. And we certainly have believed all along that uh, once we're, you know, up to that full complement and you can see what Fordham's done now having that. Uh, that will certainly be a lot more competitive, uh, you know, in, in the FCS playoffs.